All right. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your DNS uh, servers. Yeah. All right. I have taken the time to draw up a little simple diagram of what DNS is and how it works and how it affects you. All right. Um, looking at this, this is your PC, obviously. All right. You have a direct connection to your ISP, whether it be cable, DSL, dial-up, satellite, whatever. All right, then your ISP is going to be connected to DNS servers. Okay, and then from the DNS servers is where you go to your website, your game server, FTP server, or whatever. Okay, now <clears throat> what the DNS is is it resolves what you type in to a web browser okay so say for example shut up say for example you typed in clanesf.com came along all right so here we go all right that www is not necessary by like you got to type in www dot no you don't clanesf.com boom takes you right there anyways all right. Now, whenever you type in a website, lottydod.com or org or edu or gov or <clears throat> whatever, um, it's going to take you to the website. Okay. Now, every website has an IP address. Just like, um, say you go, you want to go to google.com. All right. We can get the IP address for that. Oh shit! I open two. All right. We're going to do ping google.com bam there's our IP <clears throat> now google.com is really just an IP address <clears throat> excuse me so you can get to google.com by typing in the IP address boom see that alright let me copy this open a new tab paste that boom that's google.com's IP address. Okay. Now, notice here the time that it took. The, that's basically the latency, the time between the time it takes to send data from my computer to the ISP, to the DNS, to the site, and back again. That is 14 milliseconds average. 13, whatever. Excuse me. Ugh. Coffee. Um, anyways, now, how to optimize. Well, there is a tool that you can download for free. And I am going to show you how to find it. DNS Benchmark. Type that into Google. It's going to be your first link. grc.com slash DNS slash Benchmark. Go to that site. This will be what the program looks like that you're going to download. You'll go right here, click download now, and run the benchmark. It tells you everything you need to know here. All right. Now, once you've found the um, the fastest one, you'll probably want to take a, the first few <coughs> that it lists as the fastest ones for you in the benchmark thing. It'll show you. All right, these first five are the fastest for you, okay? Write those down in notepad or on a piece of paper or whatnot, and ping them all. Ping them all. So, say we typed in ping space IP address for whatever the DNS server was. All right, you get the average there, 21 milliseconds, all right, right here. I actually pointed instead of using my mouse. I'm what a dumbass. Anyways, and then you'll just press up and press enter again. And then it'll ping it again. Do that three times and take the average of that. Alright. Do that for the first, I don't know, three or four. Alright. Then once you find out what your fastest ones are, <coughs> put them in order. And then you'll go into control panel, network and sharing center for Vista and seven. I forget what it is for XP. Then you want to go to the connections, local area connection, or however you're connected. 
then you can go to details and right here you'll be able to see the DNS servers that you're currently using. I'm on the East Coast and <clears throat> these are the fastest ones. These are level three communications. Uh, that's who owns those DNS servers. Alright, now if I were to ping that first one here, the 4226. Yep. Alright, see how quick that is? Fucking 12 milliseconds. Alright, now if I were to ping my very first one here, my primary, this is primary and secondary, and then you got backups in case these go down. Alright, if I'm going to, I'm going to ping the very first one I'm going to show you the difference here and then I'll explain to you why you see the slight difference <clears throat> going from 12 to 30 okay 30 milliseconds you're not going to notice you know the difference between 12 and 30 you know unless you're fucking Superman or some shit alright now the reason I'm using these I'm on the East Coast <clears throat> so if you want to use these you can these were these are Komodo Internet Security Premiums recommended DNS servers. Okay, there's several several alternatives that you can use. That DNS Benchmark will give you plenty. If you're using Komodo, um, you can use those as well. You don't even have to be using Komodo to be using those DNS servers. Um, there is oh shit, what is it? Open DNS. Okay, um, you can go there and check them out. You could also type into Google um, DNS alternatives, and then you could you'll get several different things there. Okay, now the way you change your DNS once you found your fa the one that you want to use, you'll go in here, and then notice I clicked properties. Okay, you can go to Internet Protocol version 4. IPv4. We're not using 6 yet. But IPv4 IP addresses are about to run out pretty soon, believe it or not. And we'll be switching over to 6, which will be hopefully a lot, lot faster. Anyways, double click that. And then you'll go in here. And you don't have to worry about this up here. This is because I'm on a router and all that kind of crazy shit. Alright. You can either put you can put in your preferred and your alternate. That's going to be primary and secondary. Okay. Notice the one, the first one I put in is my primary. Let me show you the difference between that and my secondary, and why it is my secondary. Going from 30 to 54. Okay. So yeah, that's why. And then I go to DNS tab and I have all my backups in case these were to go out. Okay. Once you get, you can. This is where you can go in and put more than just two. You'll click Advanced, then go to the DNS tab, and then manually add them in using the Add, and then you can sort them. All right. Then you'll click OK. Then you'll click OK. Then you'll click OK, and then you'll click Close, and then you'll close that, and then you'll go back to your browser, and then you'll go back to Google.com and then you can go to several different sites test out the speed um, if you've noticed any if you notice any speed difference if you don't have any custom DNS servers um, defined like I just showed you how to do there if you don't have any defined there then you're going to be using what the ISP assigns you and if you're using Comcast those are pretty decent but um, they're not as secure I'm not saying they're not secure. I'm just saying, in my personal opinion, they're not as secure as Komodo or, say, OpenDNS or something like that. If you want to use the level three uh, communications DNS servers, which was the 4.2.2.1, and then they got 4.2.2.1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They got several of them that are always 4.2.2.2, whatever, whatever. Alright, so yeah, this is my tutorial on DNS servers and how it affects you and your internet experience. Now, do take note that this will not, changing your DNS servers to whatever, even if they're a million seconds faster than what you are using, this is not going to affect your download speed or your upload speed. It's only going to change the amount of time it takes to load a website because, like I showed you, 
the time that it takes to go here to go here you know if you know there's different DNS servers all across the world you know if you're using a DNS server that's in fucking China for whatever reason and you're in fucking USA then there's gonna be like a fucking f half a second to two second difference you know and then you start using one that's on your if you live on the east coast you're using one on the east coast then that's going to be a lot faster so yeah play around with that go back through the video if you want to rewind it listen to thing listen to things go to google google is your friend don't come asking me to all these crazy questions google your answers first can't find nothing then get at me y'all take it easy sleepy g out